The touchscreen and adjacent hard buttons provide information and easy access to audio video, navigation, and climate functions. Everything to help you enjoy the ride in comfort. Remember that the hard buttons below the touchscreen should be pressed firmly, while the touchscreen icons called soft keys only require light pressure to function. There are two hard buttons that control the touchscreen. An on-off button, we recommend you just leave the system on, and the menu button that returns you to the touchscreen home menu in one easy touch. Now we'll go on a tour of the touchscreen, explaining the information you see and what soft keys can do for you. Starting in the upper left-hand corner with the valet soft key. Touch this to set the car in valet mode. This allows the vehicle to be operated by a parking attendant without allowing access to the luggage compartment, glove box, touchscreen, or garage door opener. Only the climate controls are accessible. See the owner's handbook for more details. The back soft key returns us to the previous screen. The setup key is used to personalize the screen, system settings, voice, trip computer, and vehicle settings. We'll start with the screen category. Press that and you can turn the volume display off or on when you change the volume. Change the screensaver. Turn off or on animations that are seen during screen transitions. We recommend that this is turned off for faster screen response time. You can revert the screen menus to the home menu at predetermined times with this key from 1 to 10 minutes. And this key allows you to change the overall appearance of the screen, light or dark or automatic. Press System for more personalization. Button feedback turns off or on the confirmation tone when you touch a soft key. Clock Adjust allows you to choose 12 or 24 hour settings and to change the time. While we're on the subject, here's an even easier way to adjust the clock. Just touch the time in the upper right corner of the touch screen. That gives you immediate access to the clock setting. Back to the system settings. Touch this to put up to two shortcuts directly on the home menu. This can be very convenient for your most used functions. Select the language on the touch screen and your preference for a male or female voice. Please note that you must also choose a language for the interactive voice feature. Finally, you can adjust the volume for announcements, phone, and voice. The Voice Settings category has some valuable information for you. The command list shows all the voice commands available on the system. Here we see the navigation commands. Voice tags allow you to use a personal single name in the interactive voice system to call up a navigation destination, telephone number, or even a radio station. Select the system you want and follow the on-screen and voice instructions. The operating guide has brief instructions but also allows you to access the voice tutorial for more detailed information. The last two buttons, Preferences and Voice Training, are used to train the system to recognize specific voices or accents. See the owner's handbook for details on this. You can also set the volume and feedback. Next, Trip Computer. Here, you can select Trip A, Trip B, or Trip Auto. Trip Auto resets the trip odometer and computer each time you start the car. You can also reset the trip computer reading to zero and select the units between kilometers and miles. And finally, we have Security Vehicle Settings. Under Security, you can choose two-stage unlocking, off or on. Two-stage unlocking, sometimes called single-point entry, is where only the driver's door unlocks first. A second press unlocks the other doors. With this off, all doors unlock when you press the remote key fob. Drive-away locking locks the doors when a certain speed is attained. The Windows Mirror settings allow you to select or disable global opening and closing of all windows and the moonroof. This is accomplished with the key fob, dipping the passenger side exterior mirror when in reverse so you can easily see the curb, and interior mirror dimming. Units changes from U.S. to metric measurements. Auto High Beam, AHB, turns the available Intelligent High Beam feature on or off. Back to the home screen, where the phone soft key takes you directly to the phone menu. Phone operation is explained in a separate how to operate video.
We've already talked about the shortcuts, so let's go to the three large featured areas on the touchscreen. The top one is audio video. Press the icon to go to the audio video menu. But you don't have to go there to get an overview about current AV information. It's all right there to the right of the icon. In this situation, you can see the radio station that's playing. Below that is navigation. Again, press the icon to go to the navigation menu screen. Or take a look at the information already there. In this case, we can see our current position and have direct access to a destination entry. Then, climate. Make sure the climate system is turned on with the hard keys. Then you can press for the climate menu. The information on climate includes left and right temperature, whether heating and cooling of the front seats is on or off, and the exterior temperature. The steering wheel you see shows if the available heated steering wheel is on or not. The only thing left on this touchscreen overview is the small icon on the top middle part of the screen. That will show you if you have a Bluetooth phone paired and connected. Refer to your owner's handbook for complete details on the operation of all the touchscreen features.